Welcome back. I'm just trying out a, uh, a test print. I'm just using a uh, a sword that I found on Thingiverse. I think it's the Legend of Zelda Master Sword. And I've scaled it up to just over 1.2 meters. And I'm just, it's a good test piece because it's nice and flat and it's not too tall. And it's just it's good for testing how the auto bed leveling is working. So the brim's going down really well. Um, using a plastic primer and running the bed at 90 degrees. Filament's running at uh, 230, so it's a natural ABS. Um, I've sped up the movement a little bit, so I'm moving at uh, 40 millimeters per second. Uh, it's a one mil nozzle. And I think it's gonna take about four hours to print half the sword, so I've split the sword in half. And I'll just print it twice and glue it together. So we'll just see how that goes. So the first layer has gone down quite well. Um, also might want to mention the, the printer is doing a uh, 81 point bed level. So I've got a 9, nine by 9 grip for uh, bed leveling. And I've also insulated the sides of the bed uh, with, some, with some towel and some timber just to try and keep the heat a bit more stable so that's helped as well so the bed's a bit flatter now um, hit a couple of limits though with uh, with Marlin so I was trying to go to a 10 by 10 100 point um, grid but um, if I when I set that the uh, Marlin actually crashes and reboots so the actual Mega 2560 reboots so a bit of a limitation there hit a couple of other snags with Marlin as well uh, doesn't like uh, the bed size being over a meter uh, when you're moving the moving um, the coordinates around, moving the, the carriage. If you if you go over one meter, it actually loops back to zero, so it goes to 999 and then loops back to zero and crashes into the or it, it ignores the physical um, maximum limitations. It actually lets you crash into the end of the printer and damage it. So not too good, so a couple of bugs. I'll probably have to report it back to um, the Marlin developers. So otherwise, working pretty well. Yeah, I would have liked a 100 point uh, calibration because I'm still not detecting the, the shape of the bed accurately enough uh, with a 81 point. Um, but I still might upgrade the heaters underneath to, to even out the temperature to avoid any fluctuations. And I also notice when the temperature, air temperature changes or when there's a temperature fluctuation, the bed changes shape as well. So you can see where the first layer came to an end. It uh, started uh, lifting a little bit. Or the bed was a little bit lower than the head, so it was a little bit high off the bed. But it's uh, good enough at the moment, so I'll leave it at that and just see how we go. Uh, third layer.